In this video we'll show you how we can uh, machine these uh, angle parts of this. So uh, I've imported the uh, model into um, PM3D and uh, I just need to select some flat faces because those are the bits that will generate the uh, contours for us. Uh, so let's have that one there and then I probably need the ones from this back face here. Okay, so having done that, we'll take those into the CAD system and we'll make the datum point the midpoint. And that will create a drawing. So it's just opening the CAD system now. So for this type of thing, <coughs> really all we need is just um, a drawing that contains the um, uh, the faces that we want to uh, uh, create the, the shape from. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll just delete out the bits that I don't need from this. So I don't need that one and I don't need that one don't need that one. Okay, so this is the one part. Now the one thing that hasn't come through is the small circle which represents the uh, the innermost part because there wasn't a flat face there. So if I just create a, uh, a little circle, probably a bit smaller. Say about, so I'm working in millimeters but you can work in uh, inches as well. So um, that's what uh, we've got. So I'll just create a contour of this little shape here. So the contours that we uh, go with, so I've got four. So this is the top, we'll merge down to there and the other one will merge down to there. So we save this away. <clears throat> And we'll just take that through into the milling software. So that will be okay. Do the setup. So we've got four contours there, and we just need to choose a tool, which will be a ball end cutter, maybe six diameter. Set the length of the tool, something sensible, something like that. Uh, set the spindle speed and the feed rate for that tool. So what we'll do is we'll do what we call a merge command. So this will be the one contour and this will be the other one. Uh, so I'd need to refer back to the drawing to get the um, the heights of these things but it's probably around 35 mil and we're going to cut on the offside. So there's two ways we can uh, machine this. We can machine round in a number of intermediate contours or we can machine up and down. So if I have say 10 intermediate contours, uh, I think that's everything else that I need. So just go back and check on this. I'm offsetting to the right, which I believe is correct. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that looks about right. So if we look in the isometric view, we can see how that's going to be cut. So we can set the uh, the offsets left, right and so on. Either to cut inside or outside. And then it's simply a question of getting the, uh, the Z heights as we want them to be. So let me just uh, number the spans on here. The shapes that have gone to make up those things have, uh, have been, uh, there's quite a few different um, uh, 
elements that go to make those shapes up that when they come through so as i said the the easiest thing would just be to create a drawing which has got the four um <clears throat> the four circles on it but if you don't if you can't do that and you have to work from a model then this is the way that uh, that you would do it so that's the top one there and that one's at say minus 10 and then that's the other one there which would be at say minus 35 <clears throat> and again probably cut around uh, to the right would be the one on that oops yeah well uh, Need to have that. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So. Okay, so that's how we machine that. Now the tools that you can use to do that are you can use a, a bull nose cutter like that. You could have a standard end mill or you could have a standard end mill with a tip radius like that. So those are the three uh, tool types that uh, you can use when you're doing that um, type of thing. And as I say, it's really a question then of determining the uh, the method that you want to use. If you <clears throat> don't want to use the Z level machining, then you can cut in a up and down motion <clears throat> like that or like that. So you could use one method to rough it out and another method to uh, finish it. And then you can set up the um, uh, all the parameters to do with either of those to give you the the uh, surface finish that uh, that you want okay so that's how you do it <laughs>